What's going on, Sue fans? Welcome back to Tokyo, Japan. It is night number seven of these Olympic Games. So much action has already taken place, but we still have two nights to go. Let's go ahead and get right into it and show you guys what the event lineup is today. We're going to kick things off with a hot one. It's going to be sizzling. We've got the American superstar, Caleb Dressel, to kick things off in that men's 100 butterfly. The question is, can anyone touch him? He's going to face Christoph Milak. It's going to be great. We're going to go through the heat sheet or the psych sheet. What's called the heat sheet. We're going to go through the heat sheet event by event. Before we get started, though, I love the welcome. So let me know in the comments in the live chat where you guys are joining me from. And then as we go through the events one by one through the heat sheet, I want to know what you guys think. We're all about community here. So let us know down below in the comments. And I'll go ahead and pull those on screen after I'm done introducing all of the events. After the men's 100 butterfly final, we have the women's 200 meter backstroke. That's the final. A few big names in there. We're going to check it out and see what happens there. Then we have the women's 800 meter freestyle. Can anyone touch Katie Ledecky? It's going to be a good battle because we saw Titmus defeat Ledecky in the 400. And we're going to see Ledecky try and show up and show off her distance queen title. We saw her win the women's 1500 meter freestyle. Then we get to see Caleb Dressel back in the pool for the men's 50 meter freestyle. That is a semifinal. We had the prelims less than 10 hours ago, so that's going to be exciting. Then we have the women's 50 meter freestyle. That's also a semifinal. And then we have the men's, or I'm sorry, the mixed four by one medley relay. This is a new event at the Olympic Games. Let me know what you guys are most excited from. But first, let's do some quick intros. Hello from Sri Lanka. What is going on? Tristan, welcome back. Ryan, welcome back. Hey, from Illinois, what's going on? Hey, Julie, a lot of familiar names. I love to see it. I love to see it. While you guys are populating in here, hello from Algeria. Great to see you here. While you guys are populating in, reminder, we have giveaways. Every single day, we're giving away new swag on different platforms. So the, today's uh, giveaway is actually on TikTok. So if you guys do not have a TikTok, you should get a TikTok so you can enter this giveaway. But make sure you go to go to TikTok and follow my swim pro. We're doing a giveaway. Check out our posts. Give us a like. If you're not already subscribed here on YouTube, make sure you subscribe here. And also make sure you subscribe to our other channel. It's called My Swim Pro Community. We're playing the top performing posts that you guys want to see from this main channel, and we're putting them on that channel, along with exclusive video content only on that channel. So go to YouTube and search my swim pro community and yeah it's gonna be great it is going to be great cynthia from brazil yes welcome from brazil great to have some representation shout out to nick from hawaii joining us from youtube another person from brazil another person from algeria what's up kim great to see you back great to see a lot of familiar names and a lot of familiar faces. Well, I can't see you guys. You guys can see me, so I get the, the privilege of being on camera. I really appreciate each and every single one of you guys joining this stream. So awesome to have all of you here. Looks like another... Hey, William, what's up? Uh, great to have another uh, Canadian here. Indiana, awesome. Madeline, welcome. Awesome. This is great. So we're going to go through it event by event. Let's go ahead and pull up the psych sheet. What's up from Portugal? Guatemala, Indiana. Awesome. All right. So we got the intros taken care of. Let me go ahead and pull up our heat sheet because we have Caleb Dressel in the first event of the night. It is a final. Let's take a look at the lane assignments. We've got Dressel. He's going to be in lane four. He is clearly the guy to beat. If we take a look at his time that he went in the semifinal, he was 49.71. Now he holds the world record at a 49.5. I'm going to write that down. 49.50. So he's clearly the guy to beat. Now, in this in the semifinal, we've got Christoph Milak. He's probably the only person who can challenge Caleb Dressel in this final. Assuming Caleb Dressel can put it together, it's going to be Milak of Hungary who's going to give him the push. But I don't know if any of these guys have a shot at that top spot. Now, I think it's going to be a dogfight for that top three position to get on the podium and win that bronze medal. It's going to be aggressive. Let's take a look at what Milak went. Milak went 50.3. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. We have a super chat. Let's go El Salvador, but saying hello from Los Angeles. Awesome. Appreciate the super chat. We'll go ahead and feature you up there for a little bit longer. But yeah, it's going to be really, really exciting. Let me know what you guys think is going to take to win this event. 
and let me know who you think is going to go first, second, third, who they are, what their time will be. I'm really curious your reactions. All right, here's a very exciting one. 49.2. Yeah, I don't know about that. 49.3. Wow, you guys really think Dressel's going to destroy here. That's really fast. Milak, 50.0. I could see that. Dressel, 49.56. Milak, 50.0. Minikov, 50.6. I really like these times. I think these are very, very realistic. Yes, I remember you. <laughs> All right, I think he goes 49.4. That's pretty fast. Wow, you guys really think Dressel's going to drop a 49 low. Okay, if you were... Oh, ooh, okay, that's fast. So if you guys were to ask me what Dressel would go after I watched him at the Olympic trials go a 50.2 in the prelims, he looked so smooth. I would have said, yeah, he's going to go 49.2 or 49.3 at the Olympics because he went 50.2 so easy. If he has some left in the tank, he can certainly break his world record. A lot of you guys think he's going to go under the world record. I would love to see that. I, I Realistically, I think he, the fastest I could theoretically see him go right now is 49.3. More realistically, I think he's probably going to go like a 49 mid. Yeah, 49.5. Hey, Marcelo, how you doing? Good to see you here. Thank you for joining. He just turned in. What are you talking about? <laughs> it just Oh, <laughs> we're talking about the 100 butterfly. 100 butterfly. Uh, yep, we'll get to the 50 free next. Right now we're calling the men's 100 fly. How many golds do you think Dressel will back? Dressel has the opportunity to win six gold medals. Six gold medals. He's two for two right now. One individual, one relay. It's going to be exciting. Julie thinks Dressel goes 49-5. Let's go, Luis. Okay, let's look at the lane assignments really quick just so we can see who's, who's swimming this right now. So this is our lane assignments. Yeah, keep an eye on all these swimmers. If you have a lane, you have a chance. So I don't want to count out anyone. I don't think Dressel will go 100% because he has to save energy for the 50 free and maybe 100 4 by one mixed relay. That's a good point. He could theoretically be swimming three events tonight. We're going to talk about that towards the end of this live stream broadcast. We might be kidding ourselves because we've only seen one world record. That's true. We've only seen one individual world record. Andrew, I love you too. Is Dressel in the relay? I think there's a high likelihood. I haven't seen rumors out of the Tokyo Aquatic Center. I think they're going to keep that close to their chest. Maybe during the broadcast, we're going to learn who is in that relay. I only think he gets the record if he's perfect. I agree. I think he has to nail the turn, which he's he basically blew it in the semis, I think. He, he really floated into the wall really long. He's got to go out under 23. If you guys are watching the split, if he goes out, under 23 seconds at the 50, he's got a shot at breaking the world record. If he goes out like 23-1, he's not going to break the world record. He's not going to come home in 26-4. Tom Shields, disappointment. Yeah, he didn't make the final. Will Dressel swim in the medley relay? I think there's a good shot. Uh, could be the anchor. Could be the fly. Who knows what the coaches are going to put together. Milak has to be with Dressel with 25 to go to have any chance. Yeah, I think Dressel is going to win start to finish. I don't even think it's going to be close. I don't think it's going to be close. It might be close, but it, I don't think it's going to be. Yeah. Let's move on to the next event. This is the women's 200 backstroke. Now, the times were not that exciting, in my humble opinion. You know, when we look at these times and we look at, look at this world record, 2033. Even Missy Franklin's been 204. And that was what, 2012? Yeah, that was in London. Missy Franklin was 204. And then you look at these times right now. I think these ladies. You know, any of these ladies can go 205. And I think it's going to take a 205 or 206 low to get on the podium. I mean, these times are not that fast. I mean, if you think about it, you know, 207 0, 207 1, 207 2. I mean, these ladies are right there anyway. You know, that's look at the lane assignments. We got Ryan White in lane three, Emily Seabaum in four. She's the top seed. Bacon in five. Don't forget about Kylie Moss from. Canada, she got second, and the Chinese are in 7-8, and China has been having a phenomenal meet, and they've been showing up in the finals. You know, you can really gauge how well some of these athletes will perform. You know, it's, it's like a team effort. This truly is a team effort. Oh, and don't forget about Kaylee McEwen from Australia, Taylor Ruck from Canada. I just realized this is basically Canada versus Australia versus USA versus China. This is, I just realized this. 
there are only four countries represented in this final. So there's a high likelihood one of these four countries is going to get a medal. There's a high likelihood two of them, or one of them, will get two medals. And, and so, you know, there's, there's not that much diversity in this, pool, in this field right now. So it's going to be really interesting. Let's take a look back at these, at these times. Let me know what you guys think here in the comments. 206 low to medal. There's Canada. Kylie's going to get a silver, I think. She got silver in the 100. Think Andrew's training style. We're talking about Michael Andrew maybe a little bit later. Karen, that's a good point. Here we go. Kim says, that basically, USA, Canada, USA. So two Americans get on the podium with that, with that setup. Kaylee, gold. Ruck, silver. Seabomb, bronze. So Emily Seabomb's right here. She had the top seed time in the semis. But you got to remember, some of these ladies are not showing all their cards. They're, they're kind of just floating in because the times haven't been that fast. Out of 1.5 billion, you think a few might be good swimmers. Yeah, I mean, this is the Olympic Games. Sometimes we're so hard on these athletes. A at the end of the day, we forget, like, you know, it it's easy for us to sit here and, and, and criticize and, and give predictions. But these athletes are actually showing up and making it happen and giving us the entertainment and something to comment on. So, you know, shout out to all the athletes. Shout out to you if you swim or if you swam, if you're a swimmer, if you're a swimmer, if you swam or you're currently swimming right now, you're training for something, go ahead and destroy the like button just like you destroy the touchpad at the finish of a race. You know those last five meters, you're coming in the wall, freestyle or backstroke or breast or fly, and just destroy the like button. I would really appreciate it. If you, if you don't know how to destroy the like button, all you do is you take your mouse or your finger on your phone and you go ahead and just tap it. And that's how you destroy the like button. So I really appreciate it from all of you. Don't forget McEwen had a 204 in the trials. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. You go 207 here, let's see some magic. I mean, obviously, world record holder is not in here. That's Reagan Smith. She didn't qualify for this event. But, uh, yeah, let's take a look here. Don't underestimate the Aussies. Those five meters hurt. Exactly. That's why you've got to finish with your head down. And destroy the like button. Put one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> let's keep things moving. That's the woman's 200 uh, backstroke. All right. Ledecky. Is anyone going to beat Ledecky? Now, this is this is really interesting because unlike the 400 freestyle where Ledecky and Titmus were in the lanes next to each other, you know, who do you guys favor? Is it going to be Ledecky? Is it going to be Titmus? Or is it going to be the 15-year-old? She's only 15-year-olds. Katie Grimes. I was at the trials, and I remember everyone was going nuts when she made this event. And, yeah, I mean, she's only 15 years old. Isn't that crazy? Who's going to win this event? Who is going to win this event? I love your videos. Shout out to David. Ledecky. Titmus. Okay. <laughs> it's Ledecky. Guys, I, I – yeah, Ledecky will not lose this one. All right, let me give you guys a backstory on this event. Let me get a lot of people uh, favoriting Ledecky here. A lot of people favoriting Ledecky. All right, let me give you guys a quick backstory as to why this race is so significant and how everything is going to collide into one thing. Forget about the times. <laughs> Forget about the times don't matter right now, okay? Let's talk about legacy, history. Ledecky, Katie Ledecky, right here, she won this event when she was 15 years old in London. She won this event when she was 19 years old in Rio. She has the number one time after the prelims going into this. She is the gold medalist in the women's 1500 meter freestyle. She's been crowned the distance queen. Some people say she's the greatest freestyle swimmer of all time. Others say she's the greatest female swimmer of all time, right? That's the intro for Ledecky. But what about Titmus down here in lane seven? Ariane Titmus is the current gold medalist in the 400 meter freestyle. She's the gold medalist in the 200 meter freestyle. She's got way more closing speed than Ledecky and way more front end speed. Case in point, she had a faster time in the 200 and the 400. Now, as you think about that, in the 400, it's Titmus. In the mile, in the 1500, it's Ledecky. The 800 is where these two events collide. Sort of like we saw Michael Phelps and Kavik 
in the 100 butterfly. Kavik had the early speed. Michael Phelps had the endurance. And when it came down to the middle, Michael Phelps came out on top. Who is going to come out on top? And they're not in the lanes next to each other. So I did cross out these times, but they are important to think about because Ledecky was 215, Titmus 218. Does that mean she have a lot more energy saved up for this race? Ooh, baby. It's going to be a good one. Hope you guys enjoyed that analysis. A lot of you are still favoriting Ledecky. I'm not doubting her. I just want to put it in perspective how difficult of a battle this will be between the two of them. Ledecky, Grimes, Titmus. Oh, you think the U.S. is going to go 1-2? Like Phelps said, to do well in the 200, you have to train for the 400. Similarly, Ledecky is a beast in the 1500 where Titmus doesn't swim the 1500. So she's got this for the 800. I think it's going to be a battle. I think a lot of you favor Ledecky, and you have good reason to favor Ledecky. Look at this. This is going to be a battle. I love the comment participation, guys. This is absolutely amazing. Please, Ledecky, win. And I love putting your comments on the chat. So if you guys are watching this live right now, go ahead. Please let me know what you think. Thanks, Grace. I appreciate it. So we know it's going to be a good battle in that 800 freestyle. Super excited about that. So right now, I just put a lot of numbers here. The next event is the men's 50-meter freestyle. There's two semifinals. Unlike the last event where I've been showing you guys the heat sheet, I think it'd be more interesting to take a look at this from a top times perspective. So these are the prelims results, and it took a top 16. There's actually a tie for 15th place to get into it and look at how fast those times were. Let me zoom in here. It took a 21.97 just to get into the semifinal. Look at all these guys going 21. Obviously, Dressel looking really good with a 21.3. And this is Flo Manadou from France. If you remember, he's the gold medalist from 2012. The Frenchman is still swimming. He's got a lot of speed. He's got a lot of maturity. He's born 1990. Dressel is only 24 years young. We've also got Kolesnikov. We've got Bruno Frattis. We've got so many big names. How about Brent Hayden? Let's, let's give Brent Hayden. Where's the Canadians? He was born in 1983. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Let me know what you guys think the top time coming out of this heat is going to be for the 50 freestyle. Dressel is going to break Cesar Ciel's world record in the semis of the finals. You think he's going to break it tonight? Oh, that'd be amazing. Uh... Not laughing, actually, LeBron. Oh, yeah, I saw that name. Let's go. Let's zoom in here. Do you guys see that? Whose name is LeBron? Is that just my in my head? I don't know what he's ranked. Oh, well. <laughs> in any case, how about Brent Hayden? Born 1983. He's older than probably more than half of the people watching this. Let's go ahead and see what you guys think. Kolesnikov. Play the clapping sound, Ferris. You got it. 21-1. 21-1 or 21-2. Dressel won't break the world record. I want Dressel to break the world record. I know. I want him to break the world record. Manadu, 21-1. There we go. Let's zoom out here. So let's go ahead and talk about these times. What are, what are these times right now? Cesar Cielo of Brazil, 20.91 is the world record. He broke that in December in Brazil of 2009 so this record now is almost 12 years old and if there's anyone who has a shot at breaking it it's Dressel you know what's incredible is Flo Manadu and Dressel they both have an incredible first 25 meters you know we always talk about how good Caleb Dressel is off the block Manadu is really really good off the block I'd say he is the second best swimmer of all time to get off the block and get to 15 meters Manadu is a lot bigger than Dressel. He's physically larger. He carries more momentum and power into the water. Dressel has ridiculously good underwaters, and even though he's a little bit lighter, he's still able to generate so much speed and power and carry that on top of the water. They will collide. The worlds will collide at the end of the 50 free, and if they can hang on, and some of these other guys who are right here might be able to sneak up on them at the end. But I think it's going to be a dogfight between these top five, top six guys, they're going to generate a ton of water. Let's zoom in here so you guys can see what that looks like. Here's the, here's the placing so you guys can see it all on one screen. There it is. 
Cielo was commentating on TV in Brazil. He closed the eyes on the 100-meter freestyle, afraid of losing his record. Maybe he will do the same today. Yeah, so he has the Cielo has the world record in the 100 freestyle. It's a 46.9. Dressel was 47.0. You know what's even more ridiculous? I, I believe it was the 2019 World Championships. Dressel went 46.9, but he was like 0 .05 off of the world record. Can you imagine? 0 .05 off the world record. Then at the Olympics, Dressel was 47-0. Heck, even Chalmers was 47-0. Oh, man, it's going to be a good one. It's going to be a good one. Only two days left of pool swimming. Yeah, and speaking of which, we've got to take in every single moment we can. There's only two days of pool competition swimming left. Of course, we have open water. I'm going to be doing continuing coverage of not only recaps of what we saw in the pool. So if you guys like this content, make sure you subscribe, destroy the like button, and follow our other channel, My Swim Pro Community. But in, in on top of the pool competition, we're going to be covering open water and the Paralympics. So if you guys want to see some of these guys stretch from the pool and get into the open water, make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for all of that. Dressel. Gonna break the world record tomorrow. Wow, top eight swimmers here. All right, I've, someone someone write these down. <laughs> There's no betting on this channel, but, you know, if someone wants to hold them to it. Do you think Michael Andrew will make the final? Ooh, it's gonna be close. So what do you get? Where's Michael Andrew at? So, uh, where is he? Oh, there he is. Michael Andrew's 11th. What do you go? 21.8? Yeah, Michael Andrew in the 21.8. Now, we saw him go 21.4 at trials. I think he goes 21.5 or 21.6. He makes it in. It's going to be a battle if he goes 21.8 again. He won't make it in if he goes the same time. He's going to have to go faster. Um, so we'll see if he has any more juice left. I think the 50 is a lot easier than the last 50 of the 200 IM. If you know what I'm saying, that's me winking. Yeah, Dressel might be swimming three events today. 100 fly, 50 semis, mixed relay. Wow. Shout out to the triple. <laughs> We've seen him do it. This isn't like that hard for Dressel. We've seen him do doubles and triples, and it's it's crazy. Oh, LeBron in this chat. That's what it was. My bad. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, it's going to be a good one. It's going to be a good one. Stay tuned for that. It's going to be epic. And then we have the woman's 50-meter freestyle. If 150 free, well, actually, we get two. We get four. We have the men's semi-1, semi-2. Then we have the women's semi-1, semi-2. So we're going to get four heats of 50 freestyle. If you guys are a sprinter and you know how to finish that 50 free, make sure you finish and destroy the like button. Thank you very much. Okay, Emma McKeon is the person to watch. How about Bloom, Campbell, Hoistrom? Uh, this is great. Look at that. Um, YSX, she trains in Las Vegas, I believe. That's cool to see her in there. Look at these times. These ladies are going to be... I mean, Hoistrom has the world record at 23.6, right? I'm pulling for her. I want to see Sarah Hoistrom of Sweden get on the podium. She missed it in the 100 free. She missed it in the 100 fly. She has the world record in all three. The 50 free, 100 free, 100 fly, 50 fly, but we don't have that in the Olympics. I would love to see Hoistrom get on the podium in this event will we see it let me know what you guys think in the comments let's go ahead and zoom out here so you guys can see the top 16. Fimka Hemsker from Netherlands that is it but it's going to take top eight what was the top eight time top eight was a 24.4 in the prelims I think it's going to take a 24.3 to get into the final and it's going to take under a 24 to win this event I think these ladies right here are all going to go under 24 seconds. I think we're going to see some big times. We haven't seen big times really for the most part. And we're going to see what happens. Let me know what you guys think. Jacoby in the breaststroke because Petey will smoke her. That's true. Petey will destroy anyone in that breaststroke. Ramoni. So there she is. She's at a 24.4. That's where she is. Ramoni. That's, uh, she's from the Netherlands. The Netherlands, what is going on? The Netherlands is so good at, the woman especially, at sprint freestyle. 50 free, 100 free. They should be good in the relay. Like, what, <laughs> what's going on over there? I feel like I got to make a trip out. Maybe I do. If I, if I go out to the Netherlands and I do like a video and I train with some of these people, would you guys like that? Let me know. Uh, anyway, I would love to, love to do that. 
Do you think Manuel will make it? All right, this is the storyline because Manuel didn't make it in the 100 free. And here we have her. I, I saw this. So she's in 11th position. I think she can sneak in there. I think she's going to sneak into the top eight. I don't know if she's going to have enough to get on the podium. That's the thing. I, I think it's more likely that someone like Hoistrom just puts it together one final race and maybe she sneaks onto the podium, but anything can happen in the 50 free. It's literally start, finish. <laughs> it, there's, there's, there's nothing else to this. It's start and then finish. So we will see. We will see. Jorge, yeah, yeah. Jorge has been on fire. Jorge has been on fire in this event. Oh, you guys really want to talk about the relay. <laughs> okay, we'll get into it. So after that, we've got the, the relay, right? So let's talk about the relay. Now, I, I, <laughs> I don't even know what's going on with this relay, okay? So this is the mixed medley relay, okay? So two guys, two girls. This is the first time it's ever been contested at the Olympic Games. Now, of course, there is a world record because this race has been contested in other formats, world championships, you can have this in um, uh, in Athena, of course, but in other formats of meat. So there is a world record. I think it's going to get destroyed, but you got to keep an eye. I think it's going to come down to these four countries. Okay, I think Australia has some clear superstars in the field. United States has no shortage of fast swimmers. Great Britain, no shortage of fast swimmers. And China has been has been on fire this competition. So, you know, they're really good at the relays. You know, what was it? The the 800 free relay. They won that. Like, where did that come from? So we, this is going to be a good race. It's going to be interesting to see the guy-girl dynamics and who swims what stroke. It's going to be like a last-minute decision. Well, it's not a last-minute decision. But we're going to find out, like, as the race happens, basically, who's doing what. So that's going to be really, really interesting to watch this unfold. It's going to be really, really good. All right, U.S., Australia, China. Who's swimming freestyle for Australia? I have no idea. <laughs> no idea. This is going to be an epic, epic race. We're getting close. We're just a couple minutes away from the start of the competition. Quick reminder, as soon as the finals is done, basically as soon as that relay that I just showed on the screen goes off, we're going to do a race-by-race -race recap and analysis. I'll pull the splits on the screen. We'll talk about it. I want to know your guys' perspective. Also on our second channel tomorrow, we'll be showing individual recaps of each of those races. So it's going to be absolutely nuts. It's go time. You heard it, folks. We're about to go. It's going to be absolutely stunning. Can't wait to see you guys in the post show. Enjoy the competition. Get the popcorn. And I'll see you guys later.